So where, where do I park the airport? Here we go. Here we are. Uh, now, I don't have everybody's planes uh, set up as um, they were on... Uh, I saw someone hovering around. Icarus, there we go. Uh, I saw him hovering a moment ago, but for some reason I didn't see his plane. But we are going to take the helicopter today. I can remember, the camera's over there now. I moved the camera. <coughs> How are we going, everybody? Let's go in and say good day. Hang on, I've got, a, I've got my napkin caught on the bottom of my coffee cup. Must have been a drip there. Steve says, hello, everyone. Righto, what's the max cruise of this hello? I, I think it's about 140. I actually don't know. I guess we'll find out. Uh, what's the code for these areas? Yeah, I'll put that in. So we're going from Stewart Airport. Remember, the camera's over there where you guys are. I'm reading it. Um, Stewart Airport to Caloundra. So we are heading up the National Highway 1. You guys want to also let me know uh, how's that sound going? Uh, Icarus says, I have your live feed playing in the Helis EFB. That is awesome. Are you in the 145 or the uh, 135? Um, I was playing around with the 145. That's a bit loud, isn't it? All right, there we go. G'day, Jerry, mate. Uh, who else do I miss? Uh, Justin, you have Sean, mate. Good morning. Yes, Sean's in the uh, SR22 right next to me there. Um, not the one with the car parked in it. That would be somebody else. So let's get into this helicopter and, and get started, shall we? Um, it's raining. Um... I'm, sound is all good, thank you. I'm wondering if we should change the weather or should stick with live because uh, I guess there's blue sky behind us. I mean, it's been flooding a lot up here. So a lot of this area, I mean, this airport could be under flood, although it's a little bit higher up on the edge of the road. I don't know. Um, let me know if you want me to change. I might actually just click ready for takeoff. It's much easier to do that. And how are we going, Jerry? Icarus? Oh, Bongo Bird, mate, hello. I did, oh, there's a the camera. I didn't say hello to you, sorry about that. Oh, Union Jack livery. I don't have that livery. That's why I can't see it. Okay, fair enough. Now, we'll get the sim sounds running. Now, if you haven't downloaded the... Uh, flight plan for this one. I've got a fairly detailed flight plan um, set up on this. Uh, actually, let's bring the VFR map on screen. So if I were to well, I even make it bigger, um, it zigzags a lot and then we've got a few airports. So uh, I've got a lot of custom points on this so that I could actually follow the, um, the highway. But what I do plan on doing in some of this uh, is hopping in the back seat and, and full on uh, passengering it. So with the uh, Heli 135, I haven't found it for the 145 unless it's in the luxury version. Um, 
Oh, I think Icarus might be changing livery so he shows up because he just disappeared. Um, we do have this back seat. How cool is this? And not only that, we have the ability to show the tablet. So, I mean, to be honest, I'll put it on uh, nav and altitude hold and have um, autopilot selected. But, uh, plan will be to jump in the back. Now, I have not the right CDI line. Okay, so let's put that there. Let's put that there and let's press CDI so we get the magenta line. Thank you. And a whole bunch, bunch of customs. So, um, Chunk, mate, g'day all, he says, g'day, Chunk, uh, oh, excuse me, itchy nose, um, won't be long now, Chunk, mate, will be daylight saving change and everything will time-wise be changed and maybe make it more friendly for you guys. Over there in the UK, oh, there we go, now I can see him, uh, alright, consensus of the weather. How about we get up in the sky first and we see um, how it's going. Um, I have thought about streaming other streams as well and I know the 145 you can play it in this little screen down here which is pretty cool. Um, oh man. That nose is itchy. Oh, that would be uh, Brett Plays has gone streaming. I better actually mute that. Yes, uh, Twitch tells me that I'm streaming, which is great that it tells me, uh, although it does tell me when other people are. So, are we all good to go? Sean, mate, are you? There we go. Oh, and Buju Inc. is preparing as well. There seems to be a distance thing with those, both in the SR-22. Uh, SR Let Arabia, morning breath, 3rd of April. It changes off daylight saving. Yes, that's right. So we're not far from that. Let's get away from this other heli so we don't uh, damage each other. I'll go this way. Oh, hang on, we got somebody else. Sample to feline. Hello, sample feline. You know, one three five as well. I guess you're coming to join me. I'm not. I don't remember who you are on uh, chat, but. Oh then, man, look at that rain. 135, he has a livery I don't have as well. Alright. So, yeah, I'm already in the air. So, sorry guys, I already got up. So what I'll do... Uh, where are we? 94 knots. What I'll do is I'll, I'll shove some AP on. I'll hold the altitude at... Uh, you know what? Let's try a 1,000 feet because I'm worried that I might... Uh, muck something up and put some nav on so now i'm actually hands free uh lonsky morning brett and others g'day lonsky mate we're um we're helicopter flying it down this uh highway here i will persevere with the rain for now the idea is to follow national highway one i guess we gotta have rain sometime Uh, looks like I'm going to go around to the start point again, am I? No, I'm heading up custom. All right. So the main road's there. It does wind around and meets up up where our, my first custom takeoff um, point is. Sylvia Harrison says hi. Hello, Sylvia Harrison. I've got to remember the camera's not in front of me. It's over to the side now. Excuse me while I have a coffee, coffee as well. Lego Speed Champions McLaren Elva. Open null build chat live stream. Is that what it says on Twitch? Yeah, Twitch always gets it wrong. It always gets the last thing that I've done for some reason. So what I'll do is uh, thank you very much for letting me know that. Even though I tell it the right thing, it goes, what was the last thing you did? I'll call that. I don't think I even streamed that on Twitch, but you know what? Uh, oh. Um, 
so you can't put in that much information there. Done. Let's see if that updates it. There we go. So for those on Twitch, there we go. All right, back to Highway 1. Where are we? Oh, we're getting everybody... Uh, like, chunks in the air as well. Good on you. Sampled feline. Uh, have you taken off? Or are you setting up your heli? Let me know. What are we doing? We're running um, landing light as well. So... Uh, custom 1.3, yep, cool, training mode, no, but we'd probably have a light up here, do we? Where's my landing light? There it is, let's turn that off. Sylvia, Brett, uh, where are you from? I am from Australia. So, I live in Tasmania, which is why I've done so many of my flights from, uh, starting in, uh, potentially Hobart. I flew to the UK. And now I'm flying back on another one, but that's tomorrow night, uh, tomorrow's flight. Yeah, you got us up nice and high. So what am I sitting at? 93 uh, knots. That should be good for the, you people. We've just hit uh, custom waypoint one, or at least we're about to. No, I think we, yep, right over it. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow this uh, highway. So the whole idea is to circumnavigate the whole of Australia and what's called the Big Lap. Um, also, uh, where's or let it rape here? Should be able to see that that it has changed now. Keep going, my coffee, and I'm tempted to. Oh, where are we? We're off to the side now. I I think I can sit inside the back seat. Where are I? I get back to seat. There we go. Ooh, I could probably even take the doors off. Look at Igris, he's down low. So the idea is to try and get uh, the experience. So we can turn that on. And if we need to uh, raise altitude or the likes, we can do that. I'm running on L2 Basics. Uh, yeah, change now. It's a pain, yes. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know why it does it. Um, almost every every time. So we've got a rainy flight. We've got another helicopter. Must be chasing someone down there. That's what you would say. Who is that helicopter down there? So if we turn off name tags, how easy is that to spot? Ha oh, ha, oh, there you go. Must be a police action. Following one of those fast cars. Although I don't see anybody going quite as fast. All right, I don't mind that view. Um, and that's the whole purpose I chose this uh, custom drive. So we're following this, look at this, see the double lane goes there, but the actual road is over there. So I think the satellite pitch is not updated. Um, this is where the road, whoa, there we go. Who is that? Who that? Chunk. It is Chunk. Cool. Uh, can a person fly to Hobart from Western USA? Not directly. Uh, you can fly to Melbourne, which is in Victoria, and then from uh, Melbourne, it's another a bit over an hour's flight to get to Hobart. Um, Hobart is an international, but I think you're probably only going to get into uh, Hobart from another country, probably from New Zealand. I don't think you can get in anywhere else. Um, international flights direct, uh, although I think there might have been recently some uh, Pacific Island flights that were flying directly in, but that, I think that was only because of COVID and a lot of Pacific Islanders come to Tasmania to work um, the harvest season because uh, we grow a lot of um, vegetables and fruits and they uh, they help in the harvest with labor uh, for I don't know how many months um, and they flew in direct to get uh, quarantine 
Excuse me, I'm just going to blow my nose. Just give me a second. Ah, my nose was so itchy. I thought uh, if I don't address that, I will probably end up sneezing. Okay, so the National Highway 1 is that road up there. Um, I am trying this on autopilot. Uh, do we get to see what our speed is from in here? No, we don't. Um, but we can raise and lower the... Oh, can we turn, take the doors off? Uh, there we go. We opened the door. Oh, how cool is that? Let's open the other door. There we go. Now we can see more. Just as well as nice and warm up here. Oh, I think that's the road we need to be on. Are we following? Are we going to turn? map? Flight plan. No. Hang on. Hey, you know what? I'm not going to muck around with that. I might uh, muck it up. I can't get GPS. Goodbye. I can't get GPS? Um, do you mean you can't get the autopilot working with GPS? What a shame you don't get to see a passenger sitting in the back. But look at that, the tablet's there. All we got is the uh, co-pilot. So in the SR-22, you can't seem to get your GPS line, I'm guessing. Make sure... I'll give you a quick hint. Same as what I've had to do here. That if you have the magenta line or a green line, if you don't have the green line, make sure that you're working out where to press your GPS, which is usually a CDI button. CDI um, will change it to the magenta line instead of the green line. Hopefully that works. You can't change the CDI. Oh. I also um, forget everything I just said. I mean, you've got the right idea, but you can't seem to get it to work. Well, that kind of sucks. Um, what I have on my uh, flight controls is a button to turn on the nav. Um, so it actually, if I can't get it to work on the sim for whatever reason, I can just turn on nav, even though I do have the control here. So I can press that, but by using my controls, I can actually press it. Uh, where is it? Uh, ooh. Do you have a G1000 in that? Or is it the G3000? Can't remember. Um, is it a touch screen or is it a bezel touch? If it's a bezel touch, check down the bottom middle. Uh, but that might be the caravan. Although the caravan and I think also the um, King Air is very similar to that. It's one of these little markers here. So you'll actually see and it'll say CDI. And usually the middle one. Failing that, uh, can you press um, the compass? If it's touchscreen, press the actual compass. It will bring up another menu beside it. And it should say VOR or something. You can click on that until it says CDI GPS. Or it just says GPS. Then it'll turn the magenta line on. This is all doing it from memory, so... I may have it wrong, but I think that's the case. Well, come come, just um, turn off the GPS for now and, and come fly with me, if you're able to. So we're heading out towards Grafton. Um, you might just have a look on Google Maps. Now, I had a look at the other day. Uh, where's Maps, 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 Maps? Um, there was little markers on Google Maps that showed where there had flooding um, recently. So it actually had a flooding zone. 
uh, kind of like this red circle here, flood zone, kind of like a warning thing. Um, now we're, he we're heading up towards Grafton, but we're going to turn at Glenugal. Ooh, just flying circles, crash and burn. Oh, mate. Can you choose a different aircraft? Choose your um, PC-21. That thing will catch up, no problem. Then you can run circles around me. Sampled feline. Is that Sylvia? Uh, Sylvia, are you flying with us? Is that you or is that somebody else? I had a bongo bird. Where is he? Buju Inc. is buzzing past me. I am actually taking it fairly slow at the moment. If you guys want me to speed up, I can. Uh, if you can't find the button, Sean, you can assign a button to the controls section uh, of the sim settings. Yep, that'd be the way to do it. Uh, unless you've got all your buttons already assigned. And do you know what? This live weather is kind of working fine. I wonder if I should shut those doors again. There we go, back seat. I can't see the road. Oh, it's right below us, isn't it? Someone else. All right, Sylvia. Cool. So, big lap. So, if you're taking your caravan or you have a rooftop camper or some way of camping uh, slash traveling around Australia, most people don't go um, doing the, what's called the big lap. Now, the big lap is actually driving all the way around the coast of Australia. Uh, which is what I'm flying up, but I started in um, Tasmania, went up the National Highway there. So people follow Highway 1, which is what we're following here. Um, I have noticed though that... Uh, oh no. Sean, mate, sit back and just watch if you want, if you're having trouble. Um, <coughs> thank you, iBot. I'll get to the comment in a second. Uh, I have noticed that we're going to do a turn up here where the highway doesn't exist yet. So Bing Maps is not updated. So you can see an airport right over the top of my um, plane, uh, sorry, helicopter right now. We are going to turn towards that somewhere around about this area here. I think you can see a road kind of going through here. Um, there is actually a turn off here now and it's a major one maybe it's actually part of there but it, it bypasses around here and heads out that way in Google it shows up but in um, so we're going near Clarence Valley uh, Airport so I'm just going to follow my GPS to do it so National Highway 1 is now actually runs through here but for some reason uh, yeah, click on the compass, Sean. There you go. Uh, where's the saying? So iBot says, hey man, I just want to say congrats on hitting 2,500 subs. I've been following you for a while and it's been great to see the channel progress and grow. Thank you very much. On to many more milestones in the future. Yes, it's not about the numbers now. It's about how what type of content and or quality I can put in here. Buju Inc. is landing there, I think. Look at this helicopter procession. Am I going too fast for sampled feline? Or they just weren't ready. So, this is where National Highway 1 goes now. Um, but I think it's actually... So this is the Pacific Highway. Or, or A1, they're calling it. Um, for here, yeah, Australia 1. Uh, and I think it's actually a lot larger than that. So it might have been um, done up with a second road. Sylvia so says, I am uh, preparing to write my first book that is about a young boy who was kidnapped and was taken around the world. Sylvia, did you go by another name and you were talking to me on my uh, truck and sim? Talked about uh, writing a book as well. You, had a, you were using a different Google account, I think. Or you've changed your name. 
either way, welcome. Um, G'day all, says Stu. Stu's on a different account as well. Hello, Stu. Mate, I see you in behind me. Stu 333M in the H145. Very cool. So Icarus is probably down low following that road, trying to work out why did he turn so soon? No, not you, Sylvia. To somebody else that was doing... Okay, it was a very similar story. They said they, they were going to write a book about someone who uh, were kidnapped and taken uh, as well. So, don't know, but um, okay. Maybe it's a... Uh, more common occurrence than we thought. But good on you. So, <coughs> your first book. Have you done uh, writing courses to do that? Or did you, like, um, are you just thinking, oh, I'm going to do it? Or have you always written stuff? Uh... Sean, click on compass and it's staying on LOC2. Uh, when you click on the compass, I don't know if it, we can do it in here. No, I can't. When you click on the compass, does it bring up a side menu where you can uh, press the different things there? Um, you're doing touch and goes. All right, Steve, mate, that's fine. Uh, do you know where... Okay, so where I'm heading right now, I am following what is actually National Highway 1. It is not modelled in Flight Sim uh, because of being mapped. So it, the actual highway runs this way. So I jumped onto the maps and I followed it um, specifically this direction. Uh, almost as much as I could. It might be this road over here or something. So it goes around these these hills, but um, we will join up on it on the other side. So I'm just going to let my helicopter uh, continue. Uh, ooh, weather just changed. Anybody see that? Uh, I remember when I came in here and you were flying the caravan through Indonesia, I believe. Great time. Wow. You, you joined when I was flying the caravan. So, was I flying with um, uh, El Denzo, a Denzel from New Zealand? And he was in his, ooh, what was he in? The 172 analog, I think. <coughs> okay, I think we're catching up. Imagine these farms. This is what it used to look like, and then they got a, a highway built through here. I'm not sure if it comes through here where it is. Uh, only education that I receive for writing is a basic American high school writing basic. Okay. So no special education for that, but hey, good on you. Is it going to be a first person thing? As in what they see, or is it going to be like uh, what are they, they call it a third person or something? Um, so it's like an unobserver is watching what's going on. Not that I know that much about riding. You can always just come and uh, chase me down there, um, Sean. Mate, if it's not working. Letter rape is in the BN something or other, BNP2 or something. Uh, that's a Britain Norton thing, isn't it? Yeah, I don't actually have that one. Um, supposedly it's quite quite good. I think Wes is the only one that I've actually watched fly that. Let's do a little bit of uh, plugging while we're here. So Wes, uh, in Letter Raper 709, uh, he does have a YouTube channel as well. I'm going to pop him in there. Yeah, the Islander. Um, see if we can get his channel. Yeah, we go. And I've also got uh, Mr. Flying Frog. 
Oh, I actually probably need to put fly in frog, don't I? Flying frog. Uh, that's Banjo Frog. He's having a little bit of trouble at the moment, obviously, with the uh, SR22 screen. Hang on. Uh, Steve, mate, you're in the SR22. How'd you get your CDI line on? Um, I have the BN2 as well. Well, you can always jump into it if you want to. Uh, you might need a slew to catch up. <gasps> no, not slewing. Um, but Steve's in the same plane you are. How'd you get your CDI line on? What did you press? So what is he missing? Hey, Stu! Member for five months. Oh my god. Uh, was on my iPad. G'day all. Uh, I enjoy flying with you, mate. Stu's, Stu's been actually uh, flying with me a fair bit. And, and uh, he jumps into some of the other streamers as well. Did you check out Gaming Wombat? He's, he's doing some farming at the moment. Um, I must admit, I, I had to jump out. Whoa, look at Chunk. He slowed down there. This helicopter looks like a bumblebee. All black and yellow. So, apparently the uh, National Highway 1 does actually run through here. Um, it just doesn't on Bing Maps, which is ridiculous. Um, yep, yeah, right next to the river that we are... Uh, let me see if I can turn, pull this out onto the screen. No, that didn't work. I'll try that again. There we go. So, I'm actually following the A1 up here. And we'll come up towards this stream. The highway does actually run this whole way down here. Um, look, it might have originally run up around here, and that's what Bing Maps has still got, but it doesn't have this road here, which is ridiculous. Uh, let's see if we can lock that back in. Uh, Steve says the CDO button bottom of the primary display. Okay, cool. Stu says, I see HME fame, HME fame, you'll have to explain that one. Uh, I found the stream uh, where I joined a Flight 21 Phuket to Bangkok. Whoa, Flight 21, wow, and I did 52 flights to get to, um, to Heathrow Airport in London. Sound buffering, cutting out. Those numbers seem to be okay. <coughs> oh, the internet just went. Um, can I have another satellite, please, uh, Elon Musk? Just, you know, pop one over the top. Alright, this weather's actually much better. So, uh... I'd say we're getting closer to where the road actually runs through again. So Bing Maps doesn't have it here, but this is actually where the National Highway 1 runs. Only on Twitch. Sound is mucking up on Twitch. Okay, uh, YouTube had a hiccup as well, so very possible that my internet uh, went a little low there for a moment. What is my speed? 106 knots. Is that what it says on... Here it is. Okay, ground speed 111. Cool. Now, that little uh, green line that you can see going across the top of the screen, so my Fly Live dashboard. Um, why S... Ooh. Whoa, my whole helicopter paused there for a second. Huh. I had a hiccup on the um, GPU. Uh, I guess it was dumping stuff back onto um, uh, the sim, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> what was I saying? Oh, uh, yeah, I had to start it off at um, Coffs Harbour, which was about, I don't know, five nautical miles from the uh, actual place we took off, but yeah, close. Gowan says, glad I don't have Twitch after their latest. Uh, we can ban you for wrong speak. Um, Discord actually has that now too. Um, 
Well, actually, they've had, technically they've had it all the time, um, but they want to monitor people uh, on their other social networks. And if you say something wrong on, say, YouTube or Twitch or Facebook or Twitter that they don't agree with, yeah, they want the right to kick you off as well, which is getting a little bit um, ridiculous. It's, it's the uh, political correctness, cancel culture, mash up, uh, over, overstepping. Um, and to be honest, I think they'll probably just hurt themselves in the long run. Um, oh, frame, hang on. Uh, I see HME frame. I guess you mean it was a uh, frame rate thing was stuck. Okay, is that in my National Highway 1? Yeah, actually, maybe that is. We finally caught back up to it. How far back did that go? All oh, through town that way. So, and that straight line there is probably where it's all joined up here again. All right, so Bing Maps is a bit a bit slow on this. Um, you're doing 177 knots? Uh, I'm probably new compared to you guys, says iBot. Uh, new to what? The sim? Uh, no, some of them, no, you actually uh, came in one of the early ones. So those who followed me on, on the flight sim, okay, so in September of 2020, um, pretty much the same month, <laughs> I just saw your comment going, ICQ, I probably need to uh, load into that. I know I don't have quite as uh, low a number than you, but uh, yeah. Um, it's run by an Israeli company. Um, conspiracy theories can go with that. Uh, okay, here we go. See, the National Highway 1 is meant to be through here. Look at that road. All the cars are on the wrong side. Microsoft, you've got something to answer for there, or Sobo. Alright, another waypoint. We'll follow this road. Um, <clears throat> what was I saying? Don't remember. Kind of been important. Uh, well, oh yeah, Hob um, Hobart to Heathrow. So September of 2020 is when I started it. I flew a couple of runs uh, recording it. Uh, actually, all the way up to Queensland, I recorded it and fast forwarded it. So if you were to look back at it, it basically I took off from Hobart and then I sped up the video all the way through to Melbourne. I uh, did the same from Melbourne to um, I don't know where I went, Sydney probably, and then Sydney to, oh, I think I might have done it a bit shorter, like Tamworth, Tamworth up to Byron, Byron to, I don't know, Sunshine Coast somewhere. But by the time I got up towards uh, Hamilton Island and top of Queensland, or halfway up Queensland, I um, changed it to live streaming. So I started doing some live streaming there. And then made my way across the top of uh, Australia to um, meet up with uh, another New Zealander who was flying from New Zealand to London, um, <clears throat> or to England at least. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, <clears throat> yeah, then then that's when I met some of you guys. So like iBot um, jumped in there, and but I started. Well, that took nine months to fly once a week, sometimes twice a week. Uh, 52 flights to get all the way in the caravan, live time, live weather, the whole way. Um, we almost crashed in uh, Austria in the mountains trying to fly through there in live weather. Uh, we got stuck in a snowstorm. Uh, <clears throat> that was pretty bad. I need a drink of water, hang on a second. All right, let's get this back on. I uh, just had to grab a water bottle. So, uh, funny, Disco just did the same thing. Yeah, yeah, um, they're all jumping back on. Bring back ICQ, uh, 349 1015 is my ICQ number. 349 
don't bother messaging me there because uh, it's going to take ages for me to probably load it back in and get the message. Um, I also found the first message uh, I sent saying I had been watching your videos for a while but never caught a stream. Uh, so I've been here for longer. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Oh, it's the police. Oh, bumblebees and the police. Who uses uh, yellow and red? Which police force uses that? Awesome world, big brother. That's what it is. Uh, it's not even... Well, I guess it is big brother, but no, what it is, is... Those who don't want you... Okay, is that awesome world that has... Don't want you to have your own opinions? Yeah, probably. Um, has anyone bought the new Staggerwing yet? I'm on the fence about whether or not to get it. Ask Sean if he hasn't. Uh, WTF, Microsoft Flight Sim, restart, no magenta line, but follow the flight plan. I don't know what to say. Um, I think I really started flying along right at the start of the long road home. Yeah, okay, so that's when we went back, um, which we are now in El Salvador, which reminds me, this afternoon I need to put two more, two more flags, the Guatemalan flag and the El Salvador flag on my King Air and share that on my Discord for you guys to be able to use that for tomorrow's flight. I haven't done it yet. <clears throat> Uh, sorry, a bit behind testing the power line cutter. Ooh, do I have my power line cutter on? No, no, not a cutter. I've actually got... Well, all I've got is the, uh... thing is meant to push it away. Does it actually cut it? I guess there is a sharp line on it. Do I have a cutter at the top? Not by the looks of it. But I know the H145 does. I may have to install it on here. All right, so we're doing the turn. Where are we? Let's, let's have a look at where we are in reality to life. We're at Devil's Pulpit. Wait, the Devil's Pulpit? Seriously, that's what it's called? Okay. Oh, we're going up towards New Italy. Huh. Interesting name. Um, Sean says, uh, get the stagger, stagger wing, I guess it means. I have a video uh, channel, The Flying Frog. If you just scroll up a little bit, you'll see I put a link for him in there. Um, he's checking out a lot of the Xbox stuff and does have a video on it already. Cool. Uh, still the best ever flight um, we've had was the one, I believe, Syria to Turkey. That was pretty cool. We had a bunch of people flying with us there. And we went through from Syria through this uh, valley opening, nice and low, and it just went out across the water and then went off to Turkey. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, heading through the forested valley. Okay, there we go, I should have just read it. Valley into the Bay was one of the coolest things I've ever seen in this game. It was awesome. Yeah, especially with a whole bunch of us all flying uh, together. Uh, with the time change, things will be a lot better uh, about flying along uh, at least for the next six weeks. Uh, then Sundays will be bad. All right, you're back into racing. Uh, Stagger wing, sorry, autocorrect. Yeah, no, we knew what you meant. We have spread out everybody here. What am I sitting at? 107 knots, ground speed still? Yep. Following the uh, road that you would take uh, traveling from Sydney to Brisbane, actually. I have driven this road at night. Didn't see much. I'm sure if it was daytime, I still wouldn't have seen much. <laughs> um, but I'll tell you what, there's not a lot of population just in this area. And at night, because I know we pulled over for a, uh, a relief break, 
um, and also just to stay awake, um, without traffic around, you can see the stars so well out here at night. Gowan has gone over to your channel, I guess. Uh, I think it was uh, made even better with a lot of us were flying amphibious aircraft. Yes, a lot of you actually jumped and touched the water. I immediately headed for the water to go skim uh, the goose. Good times. Um, if you guys are interested in checking out what iBot is talking about, go and have a look at my um, Hobart to Heathrow series. Uh, you probably just can go through and find Syria to Turkey and you'll see the flight there. I mean, we, we originally started off in desert, flat, flat desert land, because we flew through Iraq as well, um, and then up through Syria. And as we got right at the top of Syria, we're making a beeline for Turkey to uh, make our way through Europe um, as well. And the terrain changed. And then it was some mountains and we found this V in the mountains and we we all headed through there and popped out over the water like you're saying and some of them jumped in and landed or touched and go. Ah, the iBot challenge, I remember that. <laughs> Land in the water. I'm like, I'm in a caravan, I can't. You can. Oi! Did you bring pizza? If you're gonna jump onto my channel we're going to spam you with pizza emotes because uh, you need to bring pizza if you want to um, us to click on these uh, links we want pizza pizza Nikos has already got it uh, mine froze wow okay didn't like me clicking on that there we go. Oh, it's catching up. Oh, Wes got it as well. I hit it, but uh, Wes jumped on it. Deleted it. Squished. Squished that bug. But, um, yeah, yeah. So, pizza icon for... Did you bring the pizza? If, if we're going to go and check out your stuff, did you bring pizza? Sample feline, am I going too fast for you? Do you need me to uh, stop and land somewhere? How about we look at the next airport? Uh, where is the next airport? Oh, there's the highway there. Are we going to turn at all? No, we're pretty much going straight. Hey Steve, mate. You got pizza slices. All right, so custom, custom, custom. Whoa, we got a whole bunch more customs. Where's our next? actual airport uh, YBNA we're not actually going to YBNA are we let's have a look uh, we've done one what are we up to uh, it doesn't say so some of them don't go very fast but I've got a lot of custom points here just so we can follow the area. The big prawn. Oh, let's go check out the big prawn. All right, we got to do that. Got the fly spray out, damn roaches. I reckon. Yeah, my uh, my YouTube stopped for a moment when I was trying to uh, pizza spam them. Uh, <coughs> Good, mate. I am coming, I'm running as fast as I can, all right. Now I sampled feline that I was looking at in the helicopter. Um, I'm worried that I'm too far ahead, but uh, no, they don't seem to be uh, catching up. Um, but we were actually going to hover around, maybe even land in front of the big pond. I want to see what it looks like. Um, now, Australia's... Sometimes we, we like uh, to make large monuments whatever you want to call it and the advertising things on the side of the road so we already seen the big banana back at Coffs Harbour uh, we're gonna go check out the big prawn there's like big pineapples um, we just like to make a big something out of fiberglass or steel or 
I don't know what they make it out of sometimes and um, <clears throat> have a roadside stop off so yeah uh, and that's what it is um, my boss says, uh, but yeah, at least for me, I'll, it'll take something extraordinary to beat that flight. Uh, it was perfect the whole way. Formation flying, the scenery, and just the amount of people. Um, army of planes in the sky. It was great. I think the deal was, like, if we're flying right now in this green area, and all of a sudden it became, oh, we're turning off. And all of a sudden it became desert or something. You'd be like, whoa, that was a transition and a half. Um... I did turn a little bit early there, but I th think um, why I did that is because they've actually bypassed this city now. They must have built through the farms. Um, see my profile pic? Oh, it's 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 tiny. Um, it looks like someone standing like that shape, I guess. Um, Pink, wearing a pink dress or something. I think uh, the problem is, yeah, my my um, things on the third screen there is actually quite small. Uh, sample feline is behind me. Okay, how come my? There we go. Thank you. All right, we're following a National Highway 1, which I guess goes next to the water there. Where is this water? What, what, where are we? So we've gone over New Italy, I think, and we're at, is it Woodburn? Yeah. All right, Pacific Highway is actually a little bit further over now. According to, this is Lang's Way. Oh, Pacific Highway's gone around it, so I'm guessing Pacific Highway's meant to be this here, but uh, because Bing Maps is so far behind with their update, even when you, okay, so Update in Australia came out, I think, beginning of Feb. They haven't updated uh, the Bing Maps for this area, and the satellite picture is actually quite behind. But we're going to go over broad water. Um, there's actually broad water beach there as well. And then Ballina, Lennox Head. Uh, we'll head up past Byron Bay very soon as well. Uh, I went back to, okay, Garwin. We just got one of those Peter spring snowstorms. You know, it will be gone in two days, but it's enough that uh, you still have shovel and plow. I don't know, but what it's like um, to have to do that. We, uh, we're actually the opposite because, okay, so I'm in Tasmania. Tasmania is usually a lot colder than uh, the rest of Australia. We had some hot weather, I think, just when the, all those um, rainstorms and stuff up in Queensland was pushing weather down this way. Um, and it got quite uh, hot in Tassie and, and kind of got humid because all the wind was blowing all this humid and hot air down our way. Um, oh, the big pond must be up here somewhere. Got to go check it out. Um, and basically, we had like a... No, not a heat wave, but just a miserable weather. Uh, many days. Hey, there's Lonsky. Lonsky must be waiting at the next. He must be at YTYH, which is probably my next airport. But just before we get there, we're going to go and check out the Big Horn, apparently, which is in Ballina. Uh, which is directly ahead. Actually, Lonsky might already be at it. Um, yeah, and then and then it's changed. So the weather dropped, and we lost about ten degrees. So when when a lot of the days we've been sitting at below twenty degrees. So, um, so it was like a last hurrah of uh, hot weather, hot in inverted commas um, for Tasmania. But yeah, yep, found it. 
DL Syria to Adana, Turkey, flight 42. There you go. Sylvia says, uh, it's me smiling, wearing a checkered padded pink and white Victorian era gown in a field and my hair in a bun and floral crown and a red hair-shaped necklace. Hair-shaped? Okay. Hair, pear, pear-shaped necklace, I guess that means, yeah. Sean says, not pizza. It is pain in the... Uh, okay. Uh, where are we? Big prawn. No, Lonsky must be already up at the big prawn. Um, found the exact moment we flew through. Forgot uh, there was like angelic choir music playing. It's funny. Oh, there we go. I set the ambient music to, uh, to get you guys uh, in the moment. Is that the Pacific Highway around the water? Have a look at the map. Yeah, just jumped in, says Lonsky. Okay, cool. Uh, where we are with Bellina? No, that's another road. Okay, so Pacific Highway is actually on that side of me. Is it? Very possible. Oh no, wait, I was looking further ahead. No, no, we're back here. Okay. So we're back at Empire Vale. Uh, Coolgardie. No, not even. Alright, no, Broadwater. Alright, East Wardell. That's where we just uh, passed over. If you guys are following on the map. Pacific Highway is that one there. Um, it's hard to believe that flight was almost a year ago already. Uh, it was on March 31st, 2021. Well, there you go. Twitch stopped. Why did Twitch stop? Did it pause or did it stop altogether? Didn't lose internet. Hit refresh. If it has stopped, well, I don't know what else to do about that. Um, oh. Didn't like me pressing to change my view there. Uh, look at these guys flying down the river. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Justin Rurup. Justin says, Brett, my man, how you doing? Just got a new PC, letting everyone install everything install. Otherwise, I'll be flying with you. Awesome. So, new PC to run. Cool. It paused. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I don't know why. Um... Pacific Highway, which side is Pacific Highway? Wish Bing Maps would update uh, Australia property, properly. I'll show you on a VR map where we are. There we go. So, Big Prawn's here. We're actually going to go directly to it. Which is probably why we're not following exactly where highway is which I think is over here somewhere but you can tell why this particular area would be flooded look at it look at all the rivers and look how flat it is now they have had lots of flooding here uh, over the last oh, I don't know two three weeks now I think a lot of it's gone down it paused for a good five minutes did YouTube pause as well uh, another good one was where everyone was hopping into fighter jets and probably my best ever formation flying the Mirage 3. Yeah, we did some uh, French ones like that. I do need to go and do some more uh, fighter jet flights now that my internet should actually hold up as we absolutely race over this stuff. There's helicopters everywhere. I was flight simulator's nightmare. Helicopters everywhere. <laughs> I need to get one of those uh, sound files. Um, Airwolf. Okay, so there's the Pacific Highway there. It's been hiding behind those trees. Yeah, I figured it was there, but I wanted to go see the big prawn. I don't even know what it looks like in the sim yet. I have not been there. 
But it's here in Bellina, so I'm gonna autopilot off. Altitude off. There it is there. Is it? Yeah, no, well. Below me. Yes it is. At that roundabout. Okay, so I'll see if I can land in the field next to it. So it's right below me. Oh, you reckon we can be really annoying and land on the roundabout? They've modeled the big prawn. They've modeled the bunnings. Really? Maybe we should land in that field, actually. Not on the road. That would make it more, um... Dang, look at that thing. They did actually model it, the whole thing. Wow. Let's uh, turn this around a little. Get over to the grass here. Um... I'm actually impressed. I mean, look at the Bunnings warehouse right next to it. How come Bunnings gets such a uh, decent advertising there? All right, let's put it down. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 not backwards. Yeah, there we go. Whoa. Why is my thing sideways? Like, seriously. I'm so going to make a sound file of that. I know I say that all the time, but seriously. Let's get a slower camera. There we go. Look at that. There's a decent Bunnings. And Stu's landed in the Bunnings car park. <laughs> Way to go, mate. Um, okay, so we like our big things. Uh, it's not called a shrimp, because look at the size of it. Um, we call these prawns. Uh, and, and, and this one's a major king prawn. Just look at that. Never seen it in real life myself. I don't know if I've ever been through here. Oh, maybe at night time when I was traveling. Uh, Stu's landed in amongst the cars. Um, and this is your local Bunnings warehouse. How cool is that? All right. On the road we go. <laughs> Let it rape his upside down. I think he was in a plane. You can't land here, mate. You should have landed on the road, maybe. All right, YouTube is fine. Um, my neck lace was a heart shape, not per arcade. So, not per. Um, you need one that says, and he stole their thunder? Thunder. Uh, I know YouTube mostly, uh, fingers crossed. Um, I was somehow holding the Mirage to exactly the same speed uh, as your caravan was going throttle up, throttle down to stay there. Okay. Got a pick of it? Oh, yeah, I need a pick. Thank you. Here we go. All right, let's see if we can alt hold this back at a thousand. So we are. I'm on autopilot. I want to see if it actually will turn and fly it back up. I think it will. Look at that. Love this thing. Well, there's a big prawn. And a normal sized bunning, really. Um, why did they put the prawn here? Ah, now, there's the thing to ask. Why did you put a prawn there? Uh, probably because of the harbour here. Uh, there would be a lot of fishing boats and stuff, so they probably sell a lot of prawns here. Um, oh, the intro to the Blue Thunder. Uh, how could you not get that one? Because I was talking about prawns, and you were talking about something completely different. Uh, where was your comment again? I can't remember. What did you say? Anyone says, and he stole their thunder. All right, there's the local airport. Is that music loud enough? I'm not sure if it's even running. Um, oh, I'm actually max speed. 
So let's just uh, back that off so that we're in the... Uh, whoop. Oh, that was a bit of a hiccup. What are you doing? I'm oh, just slowing down. There we go. All right, engines are fine. We're at a thousand feet again. We are booking it, and I've turned off name tags uh, when I took that photo. There we go. That's where everybody is. Um, got a pick of it. Yeah, Sylvia, it is a heart. Okay. Uh, why did they put the prawn there? Is what I was looking up, wasn't I? So why is there a prawn at Bellina? Probably actually a shop under there. That's why they've got the big banana. They sell lots of bananas. Um, the big prawn banana. Uh, iconic big things. Uh, built in 1989. The big prawn. Oops. No, lost it. Clicked on it and then lost it. Uh, the big prawn is undergone a makeover and reopening in 2013. Is now. Um, now has a tail. Oh, I didn't have a tail before. Adjacent to the Bunnings Warehouse on River Street. Uh, <clears throat> available for public viewing. Um, all right. So, uh, Big Prawn, uh, your holiday mementos, and afterwards grab your uh, fresh catch from one of the local seafood stores. I told you there'd be seafood stores there. Uh, I guess it's probably just advertising, to be honest. Um, and, and they try and make it a bit bigger. I mean, you can look on there. Oh, what else big things have we got? The big pineapple, the big banana. Yeah, it's the fun part now. Uh, I don't know where the big pineapple is. I don't know if we'll go past that. So we're heading out of Belma and uh, let's have a look on the map. Right, there's a big prawn. There we go. Make sure we get rid of those. We are heading now to YTYH. Would be the next one. So there's there's where the road is, but the satellite picture does not. Uh, convey that the road has been built but the bridges are there so it's really weird uh, the Pacific Highway I think that's a Microsoft uh, a Sobo you know Bing Maps has not been updated to to match so unfortunately we are following pretty much where the big lap should go but you know it happens um, Music's good? Okay, cool. Uh, Sue says, right now I'm wearing a gown in, a pit, in the picture. All oh, right. Uh, but without the necklace and a floral crown instead, I have a pink and a white choker. Lacy choker. Okay. Where are you watching it? Are you watching on a phone or on TV or computer? I remember back in the 80s, the big prawn was not that big, uh, but was a large prawn on top of a seafood shop. Um, there was one on the Central Coast that had a big prawn on top of a um, uh, seafood shop, kind of just south of Newcastle. Uh, it burnt down uh, 10 years ago, probably. Uh, big Pineapple was near Nambour. Okay. Uh, max Speed. You're at Max Speed? Or I'm at Max Speed. I doing 107 knots, IAS 122. The ground speed is doing 107, but I don't know if that's changed at all. Also, that's where the road is meant to be, and it's not. <laughs> it's not satellite pictured. Anyway, we'll, we'll follow where it's meant to be. iPad, alright. Oh, There's a road on the top of the hill here. I'm not sure if that's the old Pacific Highway. And 
probably is, but now what they've done is they've made these bypasses and Bing hasn't caught up. How about that? So the road actually comes up through here now. I wonder if these houses got lost. That would suck. You need to make way for uh, progress. We're knocking your house down and we're building a highway. That's a decent sized building there. I'm guessing that's some sort of factory. Oh, me was at max speed. Okay. Now you can ha not half tell where the satellite picture changed from uh, potentially one season to another. Look at this line here. I'd say Bing Maps took a photo on that side at one time and this side on another. And that's how they made it. Yeah. It's the problem of flying uh, this low, you can get to see more of the uh, bits that are not right. Okay, YTYH. Now I did land before. If anybody needs fuel, uh, how do I find my fuel status? You know what, we'll go up here. No, 53%, we're good. So uh, there is a grass strip for anybody who wants to land. I'm going to keep going. Closest airport, uh, YTYH. So uh, Yankee Tango Yankee Hotel. We just flew over it. That's it there, the grass one. So if you are going to jump in there, put that in and put in the final destination of uh, YCAB, Yankee Charlie Alpha Bravo, YCAB. Red line at 190 knots. Whoa. Does it do 190? You know, red line on mine is 150. Oh, are you in the 145 now, are you? I still thought the 145 had a... Um, High, uh, a lower uh, red line. All right, what else? We're going to do some more sightseeing while we're on our way up here. Um, we can point out Byron Bay where all the yuppies live and, and rich people and those who want to smoke uh, some wacky tobacco. Uh, and think that they uh, live in paradise, but don't want anybody else to come along and change it. <laughs> That's probably the best way to put it. Not uh, completely diplomatically. Um, if anybody else watches uh, Jimmy Reese, uh, he did a funny take. He's got like a, I don't know, 14 episodes on. Uh, today in Byron Bay or something um, or no another day in Byron Bay uh, he did one yesterday very funny very funny um, all the, the social influences trying to uh, you know stop progress in Byron Bay because oh darling we want to keep it the same way you know we're the ones that are important not anybody else I do that too well. Don't clip that. Ha. Uh. Uh, you can get a bus 170 is Mac. Okay. Do you know what I might do? Just for a little while. <clears throat> I might actually get down and fly low with Longski. So off the autopilot off the altitude I've been doing lots of autopilot here now let's get down and uh, see what we can do so what are we at 135 so for those who are following yes I'm gonna go a little more squiggle on the lines um, but I will probably actually end up speeding up NIMBY yes NIMBY not in my backyard. And then there's those from Nimbin. Isn't Nimbin near Byron Bay? Alright. 
We are actually down fairly low. I don't know how well the road looks compared with how it's supposed to. Oh, I think that's a tunnel. I hope that's meant to be a tunnel. Some more detail on the road would be good. I mean, it's nice having traffic and stuff. I'm tempted to go under some of these bridges, but I, I know that that doesn't always go down very well. Hey, there we go. All these helicopters buzzing the road with me. Awesome. Oh, there is a definite bridge. I'll stick with going over at the moment. I need to get inside so I can see what I'm doing. I think, uh, is that chunk above me? No, it's Stu. Stu's really going fast. All right. Flat out then. Flat out. Let's try not to uh, break our engines while we're doing it. Tell you what, if someone saw this as you're driving down there, it'd freak you out. A whole bunch of helicopters come flying over. Flat out. Flat out and low. There we go. At least we've got plenty of highway to uh, follow here. Oh, and plenty of these overpasses too. Look at that. Another one. <clears throat> uh, Wes has gone. Okay, Wes, mate. Um, he might have jumped out. He's been uh, he's been a busy boy at the moment, so uh, lots of work. Maybe not a lot of play. Maybe he had to uh, get some things done because he's back to work tomorrow. Um, this work stuff is really uh, really keeping him busy. So we haven't seen much from uh, from Wes, and that's the reason why he has been very busy. It's understandable. So cut him some slack. We're good. You might just be watching the background. Unless he's gone flat out and flying, is what he's saying he's gone. But no, I can't see him. I'd be surprised that anybody wants to... If you're doing the same as what I'm doing, you're going to have trouble typing in chat if you're flying. Oh, car's disappeared. I'm trying to work out where we are in the grand scheme of things. It's a little bit hard. Uh, I'm basically trying to look at the map. This music works well for this type of flying. Get a rock. Get that rock going. Lonsky's gone over to the left. Oh, does the road go to the left? Okay. That'll explain it. You can see why it goes up and down. It's the same. <laughs> All these overpasses for the road. Alright. So we are definitely following the um, following the uh, National Highway 1 now. Oh, I'm running an 88% engine. I'm thinking about uh, changing some of the livery on this and putting my um, putting my Brett plays on the side. What do you reckon? I like this blue and white one. And since it's only just blue and white, and there's nothing else extra on it. I reckon why not? <coughs> uh, custom. I don't trust going under when it's got the road there. Um, custom flight plan is working out well. Okay, good. Yeah, I actually turned it off uh, to, to fly like this. But we'll turn it back on when we get uh, closer to the city so we can follow it in. We're going to go past the Gold Coast too. So we will be over uh, near the coast again soon. <clears throat> Hundred and ten. Oh, I think that's a tunnel. We are not going to be able to go under there. 
Wow, that is a that's a huge ridge. I don't mind the low fly runs. I guess this is a concrete road as well, so it does look fairly accurate. Um, and look, it, it is Microsoft Flight Simulator, not um, Road Simulator, so I guess we can cut them some slack that they've actually done quite well. Internet's working well? Oh, mate, you're looking for jinx me, aren't you? Don't do it! He says that, he said it yesterday and I lost internet for a moment. Hi, back again. Um, all right to join with you all. The flight sim loads up. Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> you zoom in and tell you what the nearest airport is. Actually, probably a YBCG, so the Gold Coast. YBCG, Yankee Bravo Charlie and Golf. <laughs> Good on you, Sean. So it says my first book, my main character, South the Ocean Liner. Whoop, hang on, hang on, I can't read and do a tight turn here. Uh, that has its interiors converted to cages. Whoa. Elephant, no, elegant crew quarters. And the vessel sailed from San Francisco to Australia via whoop, South America, Europe. Hang on, I've got to follow this road. Africa, Asia, and Oceania. So from where to where? Wait, hang on. San Fran. Okay, so this... We're getting close to the Gold Coast. I don't have photogrammetry on. Uh, I could put photogrammetry on, but I find that it seems to melt uh, a lot of the trees or, or um, buildings. When I say melt, it makes some of the photogrammetry when you're in close, um, they don't form right. So, hey, there we go. So, just setting up. SIDS and FMD on yoke, Shane sent through some, oh cool, yep, alright, I'm going to land here at the Goldie, so um, this is the Gold Coast, what we'll do is I'll wait for everybody to catch up, let's see if we can find a heliport somewhere, Lonsky is already hovering in nice and slow, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there is a heli port here, um, don't know where I don't know if I've ever flown in and out of the Gold Coast before maybe we'll just uh, land on the um, the apron here but this way we can actually wait for everybody to catch up even sampled feline who's uh, back there a bit Bring it in here and oh, down. Yep, okay, we're down. Cool. Um, engines at 110%. Yeah, we, we pretty much uh, we, we were high tailing that. Um, Where's I wish that worked on Xbox coming soon. Uh, I'll send it. Can you send me the pick two? Done. Thanks, got it. All right, cool. You guys having a conversation? All right, so I didn't see the name tag. I think there's Icarus in front of me. Um, Buju Inc. is coming in on his SR22. Oh, what happened there?
Why does that not let me? And that works. I can't use my drone. Ooh, it's only you working on. That no, Buju Inc. is actually continuing. Oh, look, drone's turned off. What happened there? Did my drone die? Everything seems to be working on my VFR map, not on my sim. Let's disconnect you and reconnect you. See if that fixes things. Is Buju going around, is he? Yeah, that works. For some reason we got an outside view. Oh, there's my drone. Oh, that is the drone view. Alright, that's why. The chunk's hopping forward. Alright, cool. Uh, now let's get that camera going. Now we'll just wait till everybody's uh, up together. Um, did we have... Sampled feline. Mate, you're at 18 feet. I don't think you're flying with us at the moment, are you? I think you've landed. Okay, well, not much I can do about that if you're way over there. Um, here we go. Buju's on his way in. Stu's rolling forward. I don't know how he's doing. Ah, oh, Lonsky found the helipad. Right, you should have gone further. All right, we'll wait for Buju uh, Inc. to come in. See if I can get the drone to keep up. Oh, my drone's too fast at the moment. There we go. Now I've got it. This is not our final destination. We're going to go through Brisbane uh, out to the other side. So there's still that part. He's either hovering, hovering, hovering. He's going to put it down. Oh, oh, that's actually pretty smooth. Very good. You know, let me know if you need fuel. Everybody else good for fuel? Let me know. What else have we got on here? There is not much here. Okay, we've got uh, something you guys will see released very soon. This is the new uh, Payware Optica that is coming out. I think this is the Payware one. That might even be the... No, that uh, I think is actually the, the other Optica <coughs> Payware one. <coughs> um, let's get back to my heli. All right, everybody's good to go. Uh, damn straight, I found it, he said. Yeah. Uh, could not figure out why I could not taxi. Have my park brake on. Yeah, that'll do it. All right, sample feline, I don't think you're keeping up with us if you're at 18 feet. Although you might have been still flying the road. Let me know in the comments if you're able to. Um, if you want me to wait for you. Other than that, I'm probably going to get going. Gowan says he's in a prop. What's a prop? It just says P-R-O-P. Alright, do what you would not do is fly over other hellies. Did you come in, Steve, on a tailwind? Oh no, you come in headwind. Oh, that way, that's why. Okay, yeah, live weather. Hang on, I don't want heading, I want nav. There we go. Right, so, um. Sea bus. Where's. What is sea bus we're heading towards? Uh. Byron, Gold Coast, so Tweed Heads, 
Wait, have I gone yet? Yeah, no, Gold Coast. Uh, movie World. Oh, you know what? Let's go and have a look at Movie World. Just before the water. Wait, is that it there? Oh, that's not much. Right there on the ground. I think that's meant to be Movie World. I've been there. Um, when I was young, I uh, went there with um, a mate and um, got to uh, jump into their B-17 cockpit as the extra. Um, they made me wear a leather jacket, a hat, uh, put me on camera in front of everybody and um, basically uh, got to play uh, pretend pilot. That was freaking awesome. Um, but you get it up there and you see the little little cameras to sort of know what you're on and you pretend to be flying and they've got the, I don't know, blue screen screen back then? It was a, I was, it was a while ago. The green now. Oh. Uh, I've got hiccups with my uh, video card there for a second. No, uh, it's sorted. Okay. Um, Steve got sorry got busy with the landing. Uh, Movie World is on the other side of the Gold Coast high rises. Oh, we're that far down. Yeah, are we? Because I, I'm looking at where the go uh, it is before the water. So before the uh, the river crossings. At least it is on uh, here at Helensvale. Unless there's more water crossing that I'm looking at. Oh, wait. You're right. Okay. There's the high rises there. Okay, so we're a lot further south than I thought. All right, so we're at uh, Mudjibur, Mudjibur, I don't know, Burley Heads. Um, and so Gold Coast Airport's way down. All oh, right. Okay, no, you're right. I was way out there. But this is the road we're meant to be following, so that one up over through there. Yeah, okay, move towards the other side. All right, south, uh, past Southport. Yes, 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 Helensvale. Sorry, we're going to fly right over it anyway, because the road does go that way. Sean uh, says, ah, oh, it will come back. Wait, what? It will come back. What does that mean? Uh, Gavin says, funny, I got to do that at Universal with Battlestar Galactica when I was a kid. Oh, mate, that would be awesome. Yeah, I was uh, 19, I think. Um, Majuraba. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll just stick with whatever's near Burley Heads or uh, Rabina. But yes. Okay, so no, Movie World, yeah, you're right. Uh, we followed this road up and I was looking at where the water crossing was, thinking I was um, up near Helensvale. So Dream World's actually on the other side of the water. But no, where we landed was, uh, I don't know, airport and smash fairly, fairly uh, south of the Gold Coast. Did we land at Tweed Heads? Pulangata? Or was that the Gold Coast Airport was just that that far south of the Gold Coast? Alright, there's your high rise. We're not going near that. Um, you can go down and fly there if you wish. Uh, all built on sand flats. I don't see any future problems there, do you? The internet dropped a bit. Was that when my sim was uh, hiccuping? Uh, the video card actually uh, had a hiccup. Oh, lols. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but they do the V8 racing through uh, the Gold Coast now too. Um, they did some IndyCar races there uh, as well, street circuit. A um, lot of fun to watch, very tight circuit. Um, problem with street racing though is 
in my opinion, where you qualify, unless something else goes wrong in the race, that's pretty much where you're going to finish. Um, Gold Coast Airport is on the border of Queensland and New South Wales. Okay, down near Tweed Heads. Okay, cool. Well, that explains why it was so far down there. Alright, we're on to our ambient music. You know what? I'm going to take you back to the beginning of rock. There we go. <coughs> oh man, I've got a dry throat with all this talking. Talking. Alright, can we even work out where we are now? I think that's still the uh, National Highway one there on my left. I don't think that was moving well back there, was it? I don't think we're that far up the road. Hang on, let's just zoom in a bit. There's a marker called M-O-O-V-I. I actually think there's a marker on the top of Movie World. So there must be a, like a large building there for them to show up. Um, I'm heading to a couple of IndyCar races this uh, season, uh, as well as some other GT3 stuff at the local racetrack. That's pretty cool. I'm thinking about um, getting back into a set of Corsa uh, with mods and I'm thinking about doing some racing on um, Project Cars 2 because I know that one runs quite smoothly with uh, basically without the mods or with mods. Um, actually, no, maybe without that one, but it runs well with multiplayer. Okay, now I see where Movie World is. Uh, have a guess which one is a movie production building when you look around in front of us. Where do you think you've got a large enough building to put movie um, s stages in? <laughs> I don't think we're going to miss it. It's a pretty big building. Warner Brothers Movie World. <coughs> <coughs> Ah, oh, Wet n Wild. Did I miss Wet n Wild? I went there. That's a pretty big building. I don't know if that's exactly how it looks. Maybe I need to put, um, here's Lonsky. Uh, I probably need to put, um, a photogrammetry on for it to show up properly. But, uh, I'm wondering if that's actually it. Roller coasters and stuff. Yeah. Don't remember it being a big building like that. I think that's uh, auto generated by uh, Sobo. Um, so there's Wet, Wet and Wild, then there's Warner Brothers, Movie World, and then we cross the water. Is that another Bunnings? Yeah, it is. Um, and there's Dream World. Don't remember what Dream World's got on it. We're also following the roads over here. Maybe I'll get back over on it. Yeah, I haven't been to Movie World or Wet n Wild since uh, 30 years ago. Maybe it's got bigger. Maybe it is a big building now. I thought it was basically a whole bunch of buildings with lots of concrete in between. But, you know, it's probably a big big building now. That's a decent car park. Oh, that's uh, Dream World on that side. Yeah, okay. Hello, Dream World. <clears throat> I don't know what Dream World's got. A rides or something now? A theme park? Oops. Uh, do turn fuel off when changing tanks. Do turn fuel off. Oh, don't. Don't. Oh, now I'll I do that all the time. You know, it's a rolly ball. Click, 
Oops, I went the wrong way. Off goes fuel, off goes engine. Quick, quick, turn it the other way. Splutter, splutter. Hopefully it gets going. Alright, let's continue following National Highway 1. How are we going with that stream? Oh, I need to get off the map and onto... Uh, we reckon I can hold that? Oh, I love these helicopters. So stable. At... Oh, I don't think that... Uh, I don't think the ground speed thing's working on top. I'm not doing that speed. I'm... Uh, I'm sitting at 158, but it still says I'm doing 122. Oops. I'm going to collect some of these trees if I'm not careful. Some bongo birds chasing me down. Oh, there, Raper is there. How's the new controls going now, mate? Now that you've changed it. <clears throat> Gowan says, no idea why my engine quit. There are bugs in the aircraft. Um, ran out of fuel. Uh, wait, which aircraft? Are you in the helicopter as well? Um, didn't have your generator on and completely flattened your battery and the whole thing shuts down? I've done that before. <laughs> I've done that on commercial flights. Talk about commercial flights. Um, I'm going to be taking the 737 MAX 8. Uh, in a Japan ANA uh, livery, or, uh, it's not Japan, what is it? Um, Nippon Airlines uh, from Singapore, uh, which is where I last landed um, on a commercial flight stream. Uh, from Singapore to Bangkok, Thailand via Ho Chi Minh City, uh, Vietnam on Thursday night. Happened last time I flew this one too. Says going because uh, you've got damages on and you're going flat out and low like me. Uh, no, I'm in the Rutan Quickie Q200. The Quickie Q200. What is the Quickie Q200? Is that the um, push prop thing with the? Uh, Ooh. That explains the speed difference. Um, yeah, I'm I'm going flat out. Down low, flat out. I can slow down if you want. Almost crashing into the road, Bongo Bird says. Man, if I were typing, I almost crash into the road. I probably would crash into the road. Oh, oh, pizza time. Pizza. Let's see if I can get it before where's. Pizza! Pizza, pizza, pizza! Is it, is it gone? Did you get it? Yes, you did. See ya! See ya, see ya, wouldn't want to be ya! Look at all the crossover roads here. Uh, for some reason, the road's gone dark coloured. Plenty of lanes. Anybody think Brisbane was a busy city or something? <laughs> Looks like the Dragonfly. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Front prop. Oh, no. Front prop. Biplane. No horizontal stabilizers. Front prop. Okay, just setting up twin turbo prop. Cool. How's everybody else going? Probably having trouble keeping up. Let me slow down. All right, we'll climb back to a thousand feet from our hundred and fifty feet. Um, get the AP to, to take it back over. This way the people can catch up. Because <laughs> I did kind of gun that. <clears throat> um, Alright, I'm going to look it up. Where are we? What do you call it? The Quickie. Quickie Q200. That sounds like some other euphemism for something. But let's not go there. Oh, that one. Yes, yes, yes. 
how is that to fly? Like, is it enjoyable? Um, I have seen that one. I think it's on the marketplace for sale, or I saw it on another site for sale. I haven't bothered going for it yet. Dang, that's a big place. What's that? Probably just a shopping center. Bongo birds coming up to join me. Yeah, I, I decided to slow down. What I might do is get, um, hmm, yes, floating cars. Uh, Galen says, landing struts are one of the wing sets. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Um, so top speed, 290 kilometers an hour, cruise speed of 225, range of 885 kilometers. It weighs 222 kilos. It's not very uh, heavy, is it? First flight, July 1980. Designed by Gary Laguerre, Tom Jewett, and Jean Sheehan. But it's a Rutan, did you say? Yep, unique Rutan Quickie. Produced from a kit, Quickie Aircraft Corporation, founded by Tom Jewett. Okay, so let's go. Canadian Gary Laguerre was involved in the design. Q2 is a tandem wing design, having one forward wing and one rear wing. There you go. That's what he's talking about. Cool. Uh, it's in the marketplace. Okay, cool. Longski says, soon you will uh, have a choice. H12 veers off to the right uh, motorway through the city. I've, I'm taking the A1, uh, Longski. So the reason I put it back on autopilot is um, because a chunk's in the DC3. And as you can tell, I do have that installed. Smarty pants. Probably knew that I had it installed too, didn't you? Like, ah, we'll see if he's got the DC3. Um, yes, I do. I'm not as impressed with that though. Um, we are veering off to the right. So let me put my VFR map on. Um, we're veering off to the right and we're going to follow what is the actual A1 still. Uh, from what I could work out. Um, we can do, though, a fly over Brisbane. So once we get to do the uh, river crossing, I might veer off and go down through Brisbane uh, because I did buy the Orbix Brisbane um, uh, scenery. I've also got the Brisbane um, airport. So we might do both. And this is where we're going to veer off right now. So, right hand turn right in here, thank you. Bongo Bird's going straight ahead. Oh, he went under. Oh, very nice. Alright. Let's get that out of the way. So, yeah, for as much as I um, could work out, this was the A1 or the National Highway um, road that you would be taking if, oh, excuse me, if you were following the um, big lap requirement to drive the A1 pretty much all around Australia. SIDS working. What is SIDS? Please, Wes. What do you mean SIDS? Is that your, like, on-screen uh, information? Uh, catch up to where we're at here coming into Brisbane. And which road did I take? I've taken this one, M1. Yeah, so it kind of turned into the M1. Um, but I think from memory that M1 also becomes the A1 at the other side, which is why I chose that. But it looks like we're going to cross over uh, near Eagle Farm. What I might do is I might do the river run uh, in the helicopter and then go back. Uh, you are correct. Uh, this is the A1 route. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, doing my best. When I do the research for these flights, now this is the one that I've had the most amount of uh, marker points. So lots of custom marker points. 
um, was in order to try and follow as best as possible where the run is. Uh, system info display. Okay, good. Yeah, I thought it was the little thing. Yep. Uh, it's the lights, uh, light on the yoke to say when things like AP and flaps etc. on. Yeah, cool. Uh, my flight yoke has a LCD screen as well. Um, yeah, on the velocity one. You're heading towards the Gateway Bridge. I am. And how about what we do is at the Gatewell Bridge. Hey, Sample Feline, you've. How did you race ahead? I mean, meet, meet me back up here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to run down the Brisbane River um, in the helicopter. I think I've still got the uh, Orbix River Run set up. So what we'll do is we'll go down and then we'll fly back out and join back up and continue on. So, um, so for everybody who is... Oh, I just realized I was a whole minute behind on the live stream. I think, well, let's have a look. I don't think we're too bad. I've got it on normal. Um, you know, let's get inside. I think I've got a DC-3 right on my tail. Let's go inside and see how long it takes to uh, show up. I've got it on normal latency uh, today because I'm still testing how well everything runs and how smooth it does. We do get dropouts on Starlink because satellites um, come and go and my trees need trimming down. So if I have it on low latency, you will see me drop out more often. Um, and I don't want that. So I'm going to go under the, uh, what did you call it? What bridge is this again? Gateway bridge. Look at these ships in the uh, thing. I had a new update for um, the ship add-on too yesterday. Uh, content manager stuff for more boats and the likes. But I think these are part of the airport in Sydney. Uh, sorry, Brisbane. Oh, okay. Did not like you going under that. Whoop. Okay. Yeah, didn't like me doing that. Let's go do a quick river run um, up and then we'll come back uh, and join back up at the same point there, at that bridge. All right, Icarus is going for it. Icarus, there he is. I was going to say, he disappeared for a second. Hey, DC-3 is going for it as well. Now, let's see if Icarus has got this installed. Yeah, it looks like he did. Oh, you reckon I can do this? I, I don't think so. No, nope, no, nope. we already chopped one there. Okay, how about we just fly? I don't think this thing can turn fast enough. How about we just fly over the majority of it? Yeah, that's it's not going to happen. We can go around some of them. I think my blades would be chopping these. Got other people following, yeah. Alright, I am downloading flat out. Oh, do you know what I did? I forgot to turn a um, throttle on for the internet. Uh, so if we get a few stutters, it's because I'm currently downloading maximum speed for um, Microsoft. I forgot to put the brakes on to like at least give it a 20 megabit per second uh, speed limit. And by not doing that, um, see these things on the side here with the floats and stuff? A lot of those got damaged recently. You'll see uh, footage on the news, at least in Australia. Um, maybe overseas you'll see it as well. Some of those things have got um, damaged. So these floats on the side there with ferries dock. A lot of them got such high um, tide and debris flowing against them. And you can understand why there'd be so much... Um, flooding. Look, look, look at the river there in amongst the, uh, the houses. That ferry is moving out. It looks like a walkway there. That's cool. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to go under here. I think what I'll do is I will uh, just over and around. 
I don't remember that bridge looking so good. Maybe I haven't been here since uh, Australia update. But I do have Brisbane City uh, add-on. So if yours doesn't look the same and you don't have this river run, the river runs free uh, from Orbix, but the um, city is not. It's actually a payware. Look at these, you see these ferry terminal things, have, uh, some of them have been damaged. Um, I heard that the Queensland government's actually going to get some US Navy ship uh, docking out, um, not too far out, and they're going to come in and, uh, talking about 100 personnel are going to come in and help repair. I'm guessing what they're doing is they're using some... Uh, boats and or crafts that they've got um, in their ship to come and uh, help. Okay, I give up. Crash the desktop now. Guess I will watch. Was it too much to load in the city is what happened? Alright, that's the end of the uh, river run. What I'll do is I'll go fly back through the, uh, the city. It's cool how they put now a boat on the actual wake there. It's nice to see. Alright, how did everybody else go? So, uh, sampled feline. Uh, I guess you're waiting for me to catch up. Um, I noticed you were back, way back that way. Actually, where's it still catching up? Uh, he'll catch up. He's in a fast plane, I think. Let's go back through the city and make our way back over to that... What was it called? Gateway Bridge? Oz Navy ships are already here assessing. Yeah, they are. Um, I just heard that there was also another US ship um, offering their services, so that's extra. Um, Things has not worked well uh, since the last update and a little patch made it worse. Have you updated to the... Whoops. That just lagged for a second. We almost hit the double AMI building. Um, have you updated to the latest NVIDIA drivers? Uh, and or did you... Oh, that bridge is doubled. That's why it looks different. Yeah, I had the same with Sydney Harbour Bridge. Um, you did get... Buffering, I told you, you probably would. Uh, what we need to do is probably put a speed brake on this. Let's do that right now. So when I'm talking about speed brake, I'm talking about when you stream uh, this, but you have unlimited speed on here. Um, do you know what? I'm just going to make it five, just to be safe. 20 probably would work. Um, so basically what I'm telling uh, Microsoft Flight Sim now, I don't want you downloading any faster than 5 megabit per second. So that when I send to YouTube and get it back, um, they know that it's got it there and you get a smoother stream. But by doing it unlimited, it goes right. If you've got 50 megabit per second um, download at the moment, I'm going to use all 50 to get my information so you know loading in Brisbane CBD uh, I'm gonna get the whole 50 and my YouTube goes hey did, did you receive oh no so my stream um, code goes did you receive that YouTube and YouTube doesn't reply because all of it's downloaded to Microsoft Flight Sim it's only for a short moment but then you get buffering um, so it's not a very long thing so let's get autopilot Altitude hold, nav on. This should uh, direct us back across the bridge. I think that bridge is also doubled over. So Microsoft um, and Asobo probably added it, but because I've already got it. And yeah, Bongo Bird just jumped up and down there too. All right, sampled feline, mate. If you are still cruising up this uh, road, we are on our way. Okay, so that's why you get the buffering. Um, because YouTube can't say that yes I've received it I mean it only takes my milliseconds to, to send it back and forth but if you are maxed out downloading 
you know, potentially the whole CBD or whatever that I was doing. Um, I did look at my download history and it, it full on spiked, uh, which is understandable. Um, <clears throat> so Starling, love it. You do get some losses. Oh, don't crash the desktop. It's because I'm pointing at the camera, isn't it? Whoa, my GPU just tanked. What happened there? And we're back. Whoa. That was a bit rough. Okay, so we're going around Brisbane International, which mine is the uh, Orbix Brisbane International with the extra runway that's there now. <clears throat> Gateway Bridge is actually two separate bridges. Yes, but mine, I think, was doubled. As in, uh, the, the model was, the height model was just out, so you could see another road just below it. Um, the Harbour Bridge has done that too, with one is slightly different scale to the Sydney add-on that I have, Sydney Harbour Bridge. Um, when we did the Australia update, they added stuff in 3D models. If you already had the uh, downloaded um, payware stuff, sometimes the models were just out from each other. So I almost, I'm going to have to go to, Austra um, to Sydney and get rid of Anzac Bridge, Harbour Bridge and Westfield Tower, so Centrepoint Tower, um, because they are slightly modelled uh, different and they look wrong. Um, there's also the Crown Casino, but because the Crown Casino um, scenery was smaller, then the payware, the payware one just covered it. And so you don't see that there's a problem there. But there are several buildings uh, that they modeled that were just slightly different than the payware versions, um, which is kind of annoying. Or they're on a different um, height level. Pongo Bird's getting some fuel. Actually, I probably should look how much fuel do I have. 36%, yep, I did fuel this for the whole way, uh, and some, just in case, because, you know, <clears throat> come on, Elon. Uh, okay, so, with that, yeah, um, it's like pointing, I pointed and, and lost my GPU. Uh, what I am thinking about doing, because I'm on wireless to the shed, because um, my, my Starlink is in the house, on the corner of the house, closest to my shed. I'm using the Wi-Fi router from there to uh, communicate up to the shed here. All right, we turned a little bit sharper than I was planning, but yeah, okay. Um, and what I've uh, been thinking about doing is for maybe for some of these streams, when I'm not driving in and out of the house, I could run a potential network cable directly off the router. Um, up across my driveway and into the shed. Maybe. <laughs> Out to the left. Right, that left, that left. Hello, Lonsky. Wherever you are, mate. He's over there somewhere. Wave. Yeah. If only that would do something. I, I almost thought about doing the same thing when Ozflight Sim was flying uh, a week or two ago and he flew down to Tasmania. And I'm like, oh, mate, I could just go outside and wave. But uh, he was going to Hobart, so he would have been, where are we? Uh, I'm facing, I don't know, what am I facing? I think I'm facing east. So, and I've got a hill on the side, so I wouldn't have been able to see him. Um, Alright, we're going to do a uh, tight right here, I believe, to follow this road. So, uh, Icarus, mate, uh, I don't know how long behind my um, stream is, but yeah, we're doing a... Whoa! I almost hit a uh, fixed wing. That would be Steve. Yeah. Uh, so, I'm currently on autopilot at the moment, so it's taking back onto the... Uh, uh, flight plan which is custom um, modded to actually do all these turns for me 
Uh, you could use a couple of couple use a couple Eero Wi-Fi boosters. I do have an extender um, in the shed. Uh, they also have Ethernet ports on the back, and you can work in mesh network. Okay, so I have. I'll see if I can get it without dropping other things on myself. <clears throat> I have this. So this is a um, TP-Link mesh Wi-Fi extender AC2600 dual band. So I get um, up to 1733 megabit per second on download on 5 gigahertz and 800 megabit per second on 2.4. Um, it has four antennas and it has a range of up to 1300 meters. Um, I'm guessing that means square meters. So this picks up really well, but you still do lose speed. So I can go down to the house and I can sit on either my phone or connect it to my computer. And I can download, depending on the server I go to, I tested this uh, last night. Um, Wi-Fi, I can get up to 270 megabit per second on uh, when I'm within five meters of the um, thing. Sorry, busy trying not to hit while keeping uh, loose formation. No, it's all good. Um, mine's on autopilot, so it automatically turned. That's why. Um, so we're not following the road 100%. We're following it as good as we can without having to make a hundred uh, waypoint changes. <coughs> Which, probably not that far off. How many are we? So custom points. I didn't have a look at this. 41. 41 custom points. Okay, uh, and I'm not actually sure where we're up to, but if we look in the helicopter uh, and we go down to here, uh, yeah, look, the custom points are actually, you know, 4.7 nautical miles, 4.5, 2.6, 6 6.1, um, 16.7 nautical miles are probably about the, I don't know, 11, yeah. 16 miles might be one of the longest. There's a 19 between a couple of points. Um, but most of them are around one or two and then we get into Kabulcha Airport. Um, so I have made this fairly custom uh, to try and stay on the um, run. Uh, so yeah, what I was saying there, um, Bongo Bird is uh, I do have I have another mesh in the house, so I have a, um, but the Starlink is not a mesh, so, um, if you know what I haven't checked, is Twitch still running? Let's have a look. Nobody's on Twitch. I don't know why I'm on it. Does anybody uh, need me on Twitch? Uh, it is running. Uh, I am flying, but, eh, not much is happening there. Um... But I'll tell you what, this one, this one's great. So I am actually connected to this via an Ethernet cable because, yes, it does have its own port. Uh, the, but the Starlink doesn't do mesh. So to do mesh, I'm going to have to plug in maybe my old um, internet router. I think it did do mesh. I'm not sure. If not, I have to buy another... Not a switch router. Um, or maybe... Or I could plug in the one I have in the house. Um, but yeah, look, 50 megabit per second download. I probably get about 70 uh, in the shed to the house um, on a fairly uh, stable Wi-Fi connection, and uh, 30 megabit per second up is probably. Uh, 50 20 almost guaranteed uh 70 30 depending if there's any other traffic or anything else going on um that's plenty to stream with so i guess the only other thing is um make sure that my stream settings are good to go which i think they are except for when you change in view and your gpu decides just for a second ah oh, not working no not me 
One of the big Antonov AN124s was just impounded in Canada. Bold move for them. Uh, I thought Antonov was um, Ukrainian. Or maybe they're actually holding them so that it doesn't have to be returned and be destroyed at the moment. Unless it's a, an Antonov AN124 that is Russian. That might be the case too. All right, here we are. We are actually at our final destination. Sorry about that. I'm so busy uh, yabbering along. So we are at uh, YCAB, which is our final destination. Is that Caloundra? CAB. Is that the right one? Yeah. Oh, we've got some interesting plane down there. What's that? Was that a couple of planes? Oh, it's an F-15. I don't know if this is the one that... Uh... Is this the one Shane flies out of? Oh, it probably doesn't look as good. I don't know. But, actually, mine does not look as good. I thought about buying the uh, add-on, but uh, right at the moment, it's looking uh, a little shabby. I've lost a lot of the buildings. What's going on there? Caloundra is a few miles north. Uh, Kabulcha. No, Kabul Kabulcha? Yeah, that's where I... This is the final. Sorry, not Caloundra. Is that uh, YCAU? This is where our final destination. All right, I'm gonna bring it in a little closer here. But uh, man, I think I've lost a bunch of buildings. Well, that looks like a spot for me. Look at that. You made that little bit of extra tarmac just for me, didn't you? I might need to change the name of that. It's not Caloundra. All right, down. Oh, that was nice and smooth. Very good. Okay, uh, do you know what the easiest way to do this would be to just go cold and dark, thank you. get the camera out yeah there is an add-on pack for this which makes it look so much better um, I don't fly in and out of here I'm missing most of the buildings where are they I'm sure I've been here before and it looked better anyway uh, Shane's is why CDR all right okay so do you know what we need to change this um, we are a Y cab, aren't we? Yeah, Y. Kabulcha Airfield. I don't know why I said Caloundra, because I thought that's what, almost where we were going. But I was wrong. Alright, updated it. There we go. Twitch hasn't been updated. It won't get it. Um, so we probably will fly over that next time. Now, leaded rape is coming in. Uh, sampled feline is going really fast. I, surely that's not the helicopter still. Camera. Camera, come on. I want to get where's landing. Here he comes.
um, anytime now. And he's down. Actually, that coming quite all right. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I thought you're going over there. Um, don't think this is a very well modeled in a flight sim uh, airport. Maybe I do need to buy the uh, extra, although I don't think I, how often I'll be here. Um, Icarus says, thanks, Brett. And mates, cheers, Icarus. Thank you for joining. Lonsky's having a bit of a don't know where he's going to land moment or he's having a uh, take a picture I don't know sampled feline is buzzing around are you gonna come in and land if so I will check out what are you in h135 must be in a livery I don't have because now it looks like a plane no it says a helicopter the way you're coming in you're gonna be able to land with us but it might be in a livery I don't have um, look the airport probably has lots of large buildings. See that? That's how it should look. But they're not generated. So, um, thank you very much, everybody, for coming and joining in with me. Well, that's getting a little bit uh, shaky. Why? Let's uh, click off the sim and then move it. There we go. Yeah, that's better. I don't know what happened there. It went all wobbly. Um, thank you very much. Have a great day. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to jump onto Discord, say good day to some people, uh, and then I might go cook some lunch. Now, it's going to be a shorter one. Tomorrow, I'm going to do um, the flight for the long road home from El Salvador down to Costa Rica, I believe, uh, to San Jose, Costa Rica, which is a place I have actually been in real life. Uh, Steve says, thanks, Brett, and everyone, catch you all in the next stream. Uh, tomorrow, same time, 9 a.m. Uh, GMT plus 11 at the moment. Uh, I say at the moment because in a couple of weeks it'll be plus 10. Um, I might pop in some other streams uh, as well, but I've got a whole week all lined up for streams. Um, I've got a few videos to come out too, so I probably actually will be working on that. But thank you everybody for joining me. Uh, Joe says, see you next time. Thanks, Brett. Thank you.